Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about mapping. So, mapping is an additional way to look at categorical data when there's a geographical component that's included. So, we've been talking about how to graphically display categorical data by looking at either bar graphs or pie graphs and how we can display different frequencies or percentages or relative frequencies on those graphs. But sometimes when you have categorical data, you can also display it on a map. So this is still one categorical variable. It's the adult major depressive episodes, but it's by state. So it still is a percentage. It's still categorical because people are having a yes, no response. But the density of the color is showing you how dense this specific state is with adult major depressive episodes. So you can see in the lower states where there's more sunshine, there actually is a lower percentage of adult major depressive episodes, whereas in the states in the upper part of the United States, it's darker, indicating that there's more adult major depressive episodes. The other thing that you can do, and this is still one categorical variable, but you can have a range that ranges from different colors. So this is the results of the US presidential election. And you can see that the blue is connected to Democrat, red is connected to Republican. The color of the county is showing you how deep that vote was. So if it's white, it's kind of a split Republican Democrat voting. But if it's dark red, it's more Republican. If it's dark blue, it's more Democrat. So you can see that in the counties that include major cities like um, Detroit Ann Arbor area, that is a dark blue Democrat vote for the 2020 election for President Biden. And the other counties, which are more rural and have less people, that was a higher Republican vote. And it's still that one variable, right? What percent of people voted for Republican, Democrat candidate? And then that color is going to coincide with that. So with categorical data, an additional benefit to having that is if you have geographical information, you're able to give more uh, insight into what's happening because you can also identify where that uh, result or proportion is happening within a different state or within a different county in a state. You can do it for cities, but it's a very valuable aspect of categorical data and you can do it for quantitative data too. But here we're looking at categorical data being represented on a map and it's just an additional way to look at a descriptive statistic or a graphical display for categorical data. Hopefully this is a way for you to see another uh, method of graphing categorical data. See you in future videos.